North Dakota is a state full of outdoor adventures and vibrant communities. TripAdvisor put together a list of 15 destinations you would want to experience in the state of North Dakota. So we have a lot on this list. There was more than 15. But yes. We did 15 because that's it's a lot. It's so a lot. I'm just really curious. I know you're back to the state recently, although you were on the west side and some of these are on the west side of the state and then you're kind of newer. So yes. what of these have you guys experienced? Uh, number one, which actually surprised me, the Fargo Moorhead Visitor Center. Well, I wow. think that that would be great, especially if you're new to the area. I mean, going to the visitor center is probably your first step because then you kind of know the area, you know what's around. You I get feel the like, maps, right. all that. The yeah. wood chipper. The wood chipper? <laughs> yeah, they have the wood chipper. What is that? Center. <gasps> oh, from the movie? The movie? I heard about that. So I heard that, like, <laughs> I should look out for the wood chipper. That's where it's at. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm definitely going to go visit the Fargo-Moorhead uh, Visit Center. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's a really fun stop to make. Um, the Dakota Zoo in Bismarck. I... I don't think I've been there. That sounds ferocious. Yeah, no, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't been there. Have either of you? Did no, you ever get there? No, yet. I haven't. I have been to the Dakota Zoo one time because I have some friends that live out mm -hmm. there in Bismarck. But we also have a zoo right here in Fargo, yes. which yes. I've been to. I love that. I remember yeah. we had a, I think there was like a private event going on. I remember we went out there. We had the whole place to ourselves. It's pretty nice. Nice. I think I they're actually the like number 16 on the list. Wow. <laughs> yes, it turns, just barely didn't make the cut. But we yeah. still love you, Red River. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, number three, Knife River Indian Village's historic sites. This is one of those places I think you actually get to walk in and kind of see how things looked. And I mean, this is the Great Plains, right? So there is some, there's a lot of Western history here. Oh, for mm -hmm. sure. I would love to, you know, dive into the historical site mm -hmm. and really get to know what North Dakota has to offer. I've been to South Dakota a couple mm -hmm. times, oh, you know, Mount Rushmore. Beautiful, yes. And so I definitely want to figure out what North Dakota has to offer. So this uh, plethora of lists, yeah. you know, right. is great. Thank yeah. you, TripAdvisor. Minnesota, they have a lot of going on too. I mean, I really enjoy their lakes. You can go fishing. I love the outdoors. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite thing to do. And I know North Dakota does have some campsites, but for me, if I go camping, I generally go towards the Minnesota side. So we do have one in Grand Forks. It's the Ralph yeah. Ellenstead yeah. Arena. Yeah. I, haven't, Arena. I haven't personally been there, but I guess it's just because most of my friends are up there in Northern Dakota. There's, yeah, there's a lot of really good events up there. Grand yeah. Forks pulls some amazing artists to come perform, yeah. and then we got a lot of sports. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so here's one that we actually might get to experience together: mm -hmm. is the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. It's out by Medora. Ooh. Yeah, so yes. um, hopefully we'll make it out to Medora this summer. Super cool place if you've mm -hmm. never been. This is kind of what the Badlands look like if you've never I been out to it. the Badlands. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and then, of course, Medora is kind of mixed into that. It's like built into a hillside. I drove through so those cool. Badlands on my way out here back to Fargo from Montana. So it was, it was kind of nice. I, mm -hmm. I liked it because a lot of the, the prairie land, then you, you kind of saw that you were you're leaving all the mountains of Montana and slowly yeah. getting to the... The oh, prairie. it's mountainous and picturesque. Oh, I love it's it. so beautiful. And then that's actually mm -hmm. the golf course they have out there, the oh, Bully you're Pulpit. Kidding. Theodore Roosevelt's Bully Pulpit. Like, oh. unbelievable. Think about the tea times there. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous. I know. I just, I can't say enough about yeah. Medora. I got to go there last time for my first time, last year for my first time, rather, and mm -hmm. amazing experience. Wonderful people. So mm -hmm. check that out. Um, Bonanzaville. Have you guys been to Bonanzaville? It's Where, in like West that? Fargo. So talk oh, no, about Bonanzaville. A lot of people have told me about it. They yeah. said they have a lot of fun. I personally have never been there, but the first thing that I think of when I hear that name is Bonanza. The TV the, the show. The TV show. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, mean, I haven't been there, but. It's kind of the same theory. <laughs> it's like an old west town. It's in West Fargo. It's by the fairgrounds. Okay. It's kind of cross. Does um, it have a saloon and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a cool place. Um, there's a lot of special events out there, but they mm -hmm. also do some like, I've, I've been to weddings. They also do like a paranormal hunt because it's Ooh, really, really old buildings. So every that. October, maybe we need to do one. We have to do it for Halloween, <laughs> yeah. right? We'll bring it back here. Yeah. I'm oh, so excited. Yeah. Number eight, yeah. the Scandinavian Heritage Park in Minot. Mm, yeah. What's Actually, that? I don't know. However, pictures like it's kind of like the Yum Come Center, but on a bigger scale. Yeah. It's like gorgeous Scandinavian woodwork. and I, I love oh. this because we're giving a lot of folks at home and myself just some great ideas. Mm -hmm. Summer's around the corner. Right I, around I mean, the I know corner. we're dealing with the first alert yeah. weather day. 
But, you know, soon the, hopefully that will push away. The storm will go away. We'll have nice, beautiful skies to get out in the car and go. And maybe take one of those van, camper vans. I love that. There was a lot of other things on the list. Mm -hmm. um, the North Dakota State Capitol Building. Make sure you get their Fargo Air Museum. Drecker Brewing. Yes. Congrats, Drecker. I know you guys are making big moves, so great things there. But definitely check out the list. It's on TripAdvisor 15 things um, to do in North Dakota with pictures, I think it was called. Yes. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. coming up on today's show, a new technique to help your body heal.